hello good to see you again okay so part three what did i do the day before the exam before my mcat what i did was i went through all my flashcards um the anki ones in the morning and then i took the rest of the afternoon off um staying off my computer um because i knew that i would be staring at a computer um for a long time the next day uh, and on while taking the exam and so I just played music, uh, closed my eyes, um, spend time in God's Word, prayer, jogging, um, and then I went to sleep at 10 p.m. I woke up at 3 a.m. I guess it was the stress and I couldn't fall back asleep because I was stressed. Um, so I hope that doesn't happen to you, but it, it happened to me. Um, and I asked my mentor what she had done before the exam. And what she did was, she went on a long walk, um, got her, heel, her her nails done, and a head massage. So, and that sounds really nice. So, if you want to do that, okay. <laughs> um, then my actual test day. Um, I told myself I was gonna go in there with a purpose, for a purpose. I did power poses in the back bathroom, uh, based off the TED talk uh, uh, of Amy Cuddy, which is. Um, really great and talks she talks about how your body positions can um, can boost your confidence and bring your cortisol down so I really recommend watching it um, in the bathroom <laughs> my power poses were um, karate positions and um, like I was about to fight someone <laughs> um, and I did the Wonder Woman pose because just saw that maybe and it's a really good pose to boost your confidence and victory poses as well. So I recommend doing that. Um, uh, bringing my earbuds, thankfully my church was gave, giving out some earbuds and so I had a few just in case. And I recommend drinking Gatorade, not coffee because coffee is a diuretic. And I also realized what foods made me sleepy and what foods didn't. So what I, what a food that didn't make me sleepy was hard-boiled eggs. So practice um, what you're gonna eat on test day, like during your practice test as well. So you know uh, you don't get sleepy. I also brought my toothbrush because for some reason I just feel really refreshed after brushing my teeth. I think everyone does, um, maybe, and it helps me. I when I did that during my lunch break to just. Uh, get a boost before my next uh, my next two sessions, which are the harder ones to stay alert at. Um, the exam, without a doubt, was stressful. There were questions I knew automatically, and then questions um, that I just there do these two good answers, and I just yeah, you don't know which one is exactly correct, but you just like my mentor said, trust your new neurons and just pick one and go forward. Um, while well, working hard against that time um, timer. Um, also remembered during that time, like a verse from 2 Corinthian, Corinthians when Paul says he was glad in hard times, so I just I kept on to that attitude. And I also also brought my, my medicine, spiritual medicine chart with me and just like I read some verses like Ephesians 3 20, where it says, Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think according to the power at work within us. So I just meditated on that promise as well. Um, and yeah, so that was my test day. And then, you know, a month goes by until you find your, or uh, to find out your results. Um, so what I learned from my experiences, uh, my experience of having to do it the second time was that you really should give your time yourself time to study. Um, for some people, yeah, they study for a month and maybe they already took those classes that help prepare them for the exam and they don't need as much more time to study and or you know they just have it in them to pick the right answers <laughs> but um, give yourself time to study uh, that is a huge thing with cars I know people ask a lot of advice on this um, keep your reading uh, animated activate your inner reading voice and just hear yourself read <laughs> um, if you need some motivation um, to engage with each phrase that you're 
um, your, each sentence that you're reading, um, thinking about the author's purpose for why they wrote that, um, identify how it relates to the main idea, um, as, see what are they arguing about or uh, what side they're taking or just presenting the views. And as simple as it sounds, it really isn't and it takes practice to do it. Uh, make yourself interested, okay? And don't get stuck on details, which are time killers. Um, either identify the purpose of, of that detail if you can. And another thing I would advise is just to get the main idea when you're reading those paragraphs. And um, don't be too overly detailed when until you're actually reading the actual questions. Those are important, um, how those questions are worded. And I reworded something that I liked from one of the ad, uh, pieces of advice from the review books. Um, it's, uh, it's medical practice when you're doing the car section and similarly to how human beings and their problems <laughs> and their bodies do not fit exactly neatly into the lines of created by textbooks but um, cars, by doing cars, they'll help you um, be prepared for the situation, uh, the uncertainty that you can't avoid um, in the art of medicine. So that's all I have. Um, thanks for watching. I hope it helps you. Okay. Bye!